Potter will take all the applause, but Trent Alexander-Arnold there tonight. What a performance. Uh, 74 touches in the game, two assists. He seemed to be everywhere, passing superb. Uh, was that probably one of Trent's best performances of the season? He was almost unplayable. Well, Trent, I probably have it watch it back again, but um, yeah, he was outstanding, but I saw so many outstanding performances tonight. To be honest, it's a um, very important game and a really strong Arsenal side. Um, with our um, problems we have, there's now not plenty of options to change probably. And um, how, what the boys uh, put out tonight was really special. And um, that the start in both half times, I would say, was, was Arsenal time. So they were really um, aggressive, really straightforward, all these kind of things. So we had to, to adapt to the game, but we calmed it down. And from that specific moment on in both half times, we controlled the game and played really good stuff and scored up top of that wonderful goals. Yes, the first one was a, you can still say it's a team goal, even when you had to do a little bit um, before you could finish it off. But um, positioning of trend in that moment uh, between the lines, passing the ball and Yogo goes in, yeah, across the line of the defenders. Really difficult to defend. Uh, second goal, I don't think a lot of people in the stadium saw um, Yogo Jota free. Um, <laughs> trend saw it, which helps. And um, then the proper finish. Uh, good defending. Um, the, the way Arsenal plays with these long balls behind the fullbacks. It's really tricky with the speed they have there with Saka and, um, yeah, and the young Brazilian guy. So that, that's really, really, really special. So we have to, we have to be awake in these moments. But on top of that, we had to play football. And um, how's the first 10 minutes, I didn't like what we played. But then we were in the game and then it looked really flexible and um, and proper and happy about that. Thanks, Jim. We'll go to, uh, I think we've got Jamie Langdon from Sky for one, but then we'll go through the hands, which is uh, Matt Barlow and Neil Jones for sure. So, uh, Jamie Langdon for one or two. Yeah, Jürgen, Chelsea in the final. I mean, how much do you want to win this now you got to the final? Martinelli, by the way, the young person, I should, I think everybody should remember that name because the outstanding player. And I'm just old into that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, Chelsea. Yeah. Um, Look, you play a final, it's pretty likely that you will face an outstanding, strong team. <laughs> that's what happened now. But uh, nevertheless, we wanted to qualify for it. So that's what we did. And um, Wembley is a special place, how we all know. Yeah, there are a lot of games to play until then. So it's not now that you just play next week or whatever. So there are a lot of games to play. We will see um, where we are um, then. But um, we, we really... Um, Put a lot of um, effort in in, in this in this uh, competition, and uh, uh, we really want to go through. And so, when you go through, when you're in the final, there's absolutely no reason to be part of the final if you don't want to win it. So we want to win it, but we know how difficult it will be. Thank you, Jeremy. We'll go to Matt Barlow, and then to Neil Jones, and then to Zia. Hello, Jürgen. Um, thanks, Matt. Um, you, you drifted onto this question there, um, to this question there with your answer, but I wanted to ask why this competition's important for you this year. It isn't something you've always gone after with this sort of determination, but this year it seems like it, it matters to you. No, 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 that's not true. That's not true. You might, look, the situation is always, is always difficult in that time of the year. Um, who is available? How many games did you play? All these kind of things. Um, we, we cannot, I cannot just pick a team we don't have the full squad on, on the paper and then just, okay, go for these 11 and let them play. We, we, we have to consider a lot of things. And we, we always did that, but you need a little bit of luck in, 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 in specific moments to get through. We never had that. We had always really tricky draws on top of that um, pretty early <laughs> uh, when we played a lot of games and couldn't line up the, the team up from the Premier League the three days before. And so we were, I don't say it was always unlucky, but we had these moments where we thought we'd draw, okay, away game, but Chelsea is now not the, the easiest draw um, and these kind of things. So um, it's all good. Um, we want to go for everything. We said that plenty of times. Now we are in the final. It doesn't mean we won it already. That just means we be qualified for it. And when we will be there in the February, we will give it a go. But unfortunately, your opponent probably as well. Thank you, Neil Jones, and then Zia. Hi, Jürgen. 
What is it about Diogo that's really enabled him to, to make such a big imp impact? I mean, we've seen his quality, but is it his mentality as much as anything? Mentality makes up a quality was the reason why we why we signed him. Because um, the way he played at Wolves, um, the, 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 the yards he had to make there, um, the, the runs he had to make, the defending he had to do, um, but was still always able to, to produce some really exciting stuff. And that was the reason why we signed him. That he can show that now um, in our kid is, is really nice to see. Uh, he didn't only step up tonight. Yes, of course, he's now he's got two goals, but he's incredibly important for us. And um, so the mix of his skill set is meanwhile really exciting. Um, he's um, in, a, in a good shape as well. Long way continue. Thanks, Neil. And final question we'll take from uh, Zia. Zia. How are you, Ruben? Hi. Um, you probably asked this question many times before, but can I ask you about Andy Robin, uh, Robertson again? I thought he had an excellent game tonight. He just seems to be getting better and better. Do you think he's the best left back in the country, possibly in Europe? For me, yes, but I'm not sure that's too important, to be honest. Um, for me, absolutely. Outstanding player, and again, the mix of, of his, of his skill set and his mentality that makes him so special because. You see the situation that he's uh, when he has the ball is a good footballer, but the desire he puts in each game when he really wants to you know, defend with all he has. I think that's the biggest improvement since he arrived. That was a little bit issue when he in the early stages when he came from Hull to us. He was already a massive talent, but then um, defending wise we, we were not <laughs> over the moon. Um, but he improved a lot and is now the full package, which is really helpful. So both fullbacks obviously are, are quite good, um, which is the reason. Um, we have players like this on different positions is the reason why we were um, yeah, quite successful in the past, not as successful as probably a lot of people want, but we we played some good stuff and that's the reason is because the boys um, are just um, an outstanding group. Thank you everybody, stay safe and Thank we've got you. press comments tomorrow as well. Cheers. Bye -bye. Thanks a lot. Thank you for the Thanks. Bye -bye.